Hi folks, it's Jason and it's Mac Monday here at Echo and we're going to help you get OneDrive to play nice with Finder on Mac OS. So if you're here, you've likely sold your digital soul to Macintosh, much like myself, but your organization is Microsoft heavy and maybe not likely or maybe not ready to you know, make the move to the full Mac ecosystem, which they're never going to do. And this likely also means that your options for cloud storage likely reside in the realm of OneDrive and or SharePoint. So you might be used to storage platforms like Dropbox or iCloud, but understandably, Microsoft doesn't make things quite as seamless for folks like us, but fret not, they're coming around, they're coming around quickly. It's actually pretty easy, it actually works pretty well, and we're gonna get you set up right now. So we're gonna go through what apps you need to download to your machine, where to do it, and finally, how we get files from the Microsoft server to sync bi-directionally with Finder on your Mac. Now, there are a few ways to go about this, and if you Google it, there's even some shareware out there that'll work for a nominal price, but I'm personally not a fan of paying for things unless it's absolutely necessary, and in this case, it's not necessary at all. So my suggestion is to go straight to the App Store and search for OneDrive. We can see I have it uh, already pulled up. Mine says open because I already have it installed. Otherwise, it would say install. So go ahead and get it installed. Once you have it in your possession, go ahead and go through the typical paces of validation and open it up when it's ready. From there, open up OneDrive preferences and select add an account. You'll select the account tab select add an account. I've already done it, so I'm not going to go through those steps there, but it does work, I promise. Now, at this point, you'll be taken through the process of selecting which accounts and folders that you'd like to sync with your Finder, uh, I believe. But if you miss it, or for whatever reason it doesn't work, or you're looking to get Finder integration going retroactively, all you need to do is go through your system settings. You're going to go to Privacy and Security, scroll all the way to the bottom to Extensions, and to your Finder Extensions. And if you've gone through the OneDrive setup properly, and you know all the stars have aligned, you should get your uh, whichever uh, OneDrive accounts that you've synced through either your, your personal account or your organizational account. And you can select those. Uh, just for a bit of verification, you can go to your Added Account, verify that it's there. Roll back over to your Finder and voila, you should see your OneDrive account uh, uh, linked underneath your locations. I told you it was gonna be really quick. One thing that I'll also mention is that a lot of folks forget that you can use favorites to you know, negate the rigmarole of going through root folders, subfolders, sub subfolders, and uh, just save it where you need to go. So if uh, I'm working primarily in this brand folder, I can select it over here. It's going to take me right there. And then something else that I will mention is uh, very similar to iCloud and Dropbox. You'll get a little icon that shows you whether it's synced locally to your machine or if it's living in the cloud. Uh, what is nice that it caches enough data to allow you to preview it. So um, without even downloading it, I can um, select this. I hit spacebar. I go to preview and you can see that it actually downloaded locally to my machine. So be aware of that. When you do open it, it's going to automatically sync and download to your machine. Um, if I want to bring that back up to the cloud, I hit free up space. And that little cloud icon tells me that it's not living locally on my machine, but it is living on the cloud. So that's basically it, folks. Um, Last thing I'll mention is, oh, so in closing, uh, a couple of my colleagues recently attended a, a big Microsoft 365 conference where they announced that they're going to be going through and putting some much needed muscle behind getting some better support for Mac users. A uh, few enhancements that we should be seeing right now are uh, re reduced battery and CPU usage, uh, an increase in boot performance on startup and an overall reduction in memory footprint by I think it was 33%. So if you have been using the Finder integration, uh, you're gonna see or maybe you've noticed that it's working a little bit more efficiently and smoothly. Uh, in the next two to 12 months, uh, we'll be looking at a lot of improvements on the sys admin side of things. So hopefully uh, in the future, your trips to the help desk uh, with your Mac won't be greeted by uh, so many sighs and eye rolls, uh, I'm familiar. Uh, I sure hope that helped. 
Uh, if you have any comments or you have some tips or tricks for us, good jokes are always welcome too. Be sure to drop us a line. Thanks again.